Hey guys, and welcome back to the uh, Garden of Eden Creation Kit uh, tutorials. And um, today we're going to look at how to make a light switch in your home. So the first thing you want to do is come to um, the GEC website and type in a light switch script on Google, and hopefully you'll come to the Garden of Eden Creation Kit website, and it will have useful scripts. And if you scroll down, you can find a script that's perfect for what we want to do. So if you um, copy that, so just copy it, and you come to the GEC, and no, you want to open up a script. So if you click on the little pencil on the top of the toolbar here, it'll open the script edit. And you want to do script and do new. And then if you want to paste it, because you can't right click in the script window, you're going to have to hold control and press V to just paste it in. And then you can save it remember the name of it and cross it and then what you want to do is is I, t I showed you how to link these together fuck's sake stupid motorcyclists fucking up fucking up my road down here pissing me off I don't know if you heard that but pretty shit but basically what you do is is you double click on your light switch and I'm gonna uh, do a new ID because if you don't do a new ID then you'll fuck up your game so make sure you do a new, new ID so I'm going to do O2 and then I'm just going to call it light switch and then you come down to script and you find the light script light swi switch script and you click OK and apparently there's already one like that so I'm going to have to do a new one OK and you click yes and you click OK and you click save and Hmm. I'm trying to remember how to do this now. We need to have. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'm going to undo this all because I seem to have done it wrong. So what you want to do is is get your two base objects for your lamp or your lights. You need this otherwise you just can't do it. You need two objects, the same preferably. You need them. You need exactly these, okay? And I'm going to get rid of these linked references because I've done it wrong and I forgot how to do it. Um, so you want to double click on one as soon as your GEC starts working and doesn't fuck you off. Um, and you click OK. Uh, and you need to set it as a persistent reference otherwise it won't work. And it's basically so that you can enable parent this to this if you get me so if you double click on the other one and you go to enable parent and you do select reference and render window and you double click on that and make sure you say set enable to opposite parent and pop and you click on the pop in thing and um, you click OK hopefully these things are linked now okay then that didn't work What the hell? That's just annoying. But yeah, as soon as you link those two together, as soon as you link, literally as soon as you link these two together, you need to set enable state to opposite of parent, and you need to check the pop-in box just to make sure everything's okay. And then what you do is is you link your light to the one that you can, so the persistent reference one, and you click OK. And that didn't even work. What the fuck is going on here? Rah! Yeah, there we go, and you click OK. And hopefully, if you've done it right, there should be a blue and green line linked to the lamp, if you like. Um, and then you need to link your light switch itself to this. And you click OK. Okay, and hmm, it seems to be not working, and I don't know why. It's very annoying. Interesting. It's very, very, very annoying because I've done it correct, and it's not actually registering it.
But yeah, that's how you do it, but it seems that I fucked it up. So what we're gonna do is start from scratch. So if you just want to delete just 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 completely skip that bit of the video, I've just fucked up. That's the one, I'm not in a very good mood, so. But I am in the mood to do a gek video, so Oh my god, there shouldn't be any linked reference, any enable parents, there should be nothing. So we're starting from complete scratch here. No linked references. No. None. There we go. So the first step is to make sure that your light switch has the light switch script. Okay, so that will be in the description if you're too lazy to actually fucking, you know, look yourself. Um, which I wouldn't be surprised if you weren't. Uh, and what you want to do is is have two objects. It doesn't matter what they are. It doesn't matter what they are. They could be fucking dead corpses if you want them to. But for now, we're just going to make it basic and have two lights. And I'm going to double click on one of them. Not both of them, just one of them. And select it as a persistent reference and click OK. And then you want to double click on the opposite one. Go to Enable Parent. Go on Select Reference and Render Window. And double click on the one you just set as a persistent reference. And then you want to click these two boxes here. And click OK. And that should be fine and as you can see those two are now linked which is brilliant and then what you want to do is is link your lamp to your persistent reference I mean your light, your light source itself so this thing here, this is a, this is a light source, this is a light marker um, you want to link your light the fucking light source itself to the uh, fucking uh, the lamp or the persistent reference object. It really isn't that hard. I'm just making it sound overly complicated to fuck everyone off. Um, but yeah, then once you've done that, you want to double click on your your light switch and go on linked reference, and then do select reference and render window and select your persistent reference and click OK. And that is literally how you make a light switch. Um, you need two of those, and you need to make sure that this lamp is, yeah. That should be fine. Um, basically means you can turn this light on and off, which is very handy. So now what we're going to do is look at furnishing your home. So I'm just going to go into the filter up here, in the object window. I can't explain everything in detail, because otherwise the video would be like five hours long, and that would just be ridiculous. So just go with it, really. Um, I'm going to type in table. And I'm going to go to the static in world objects. And for some reason, my fucking mouse is flickering. I don't know why. It's just gay like that. Um, and I'm going to look for. Let's have table 01. Sometimes it places it out outside the place you want it, so you might want to look for it like because I just dragged it and it placed it outside the mesh so you just want to drag it back in and remember the keys from the first video F to go to the ground G to go up so I'm gonna do F and I'm not gonna explain the fucking controls again because that is just tedious so if you wanna know the basics there is a video on my channel um, for the gag to explain how to actually do the basics so I'm gonna type in locker now and find a foot locker I know there's gonna to be tons of people trolling on this video saying you're not explaining it very well well you don't really need to explain how to drop and drag or drag and drop um, a fucking container into a cell I mean I know people will troll and if they do I'm just gonna go fucking ape shit so uh, yeah and I'm gonna kill your family and, and absolutely just kill everyone that you know and kill everyone even if they don't deserve it uh, so yeah what you do is make sure that you make your own custom ID for a container otherwise you will change every single one of those containers or items or whatever it is in the game to what you want it to be so really don't do that because you could fuck everything up so I'm gonna change it to container container and I'm going to empty it so that's an empty footlocker and sometimes when you create a new container 
you'll find that it has a little respawn box thing here and you want to make sure that's unchecked because if you don't have that unchecked anything that you put in there from the get <sighs> anything you put in there from the get will respawn um, and your items will be destroyed in the game and that's not very nice and you want to click yes to create a new ID and click OK and I'm going to have two of those So control D to duplicate and I think I have a workbench in my in my house. If you go onto activators you can probably find the workbench, there it is. Nice little workbench thing here. Put that up against the window. And I'm also going to have. You don't need to change the ID of that, that's just a workbench, it won't affect anything in the game. I'm going to have an actual locker itself. So I'm going to have an enclave locker, it's going to be empty. Because enclave lockers are so badass, and everyone loves enclave lockers. Um. So yeah. I'm going to place two there, and then I'm going to have some more stuff over here. Have a locker, a vault locker, because vault lockers are also very badass. Um, also, I've been working on a mod recently. It's called Vault Tech Secrets, and I've just released the name of it um, to you guys. So, if you want to ask anything about that mod, because it's going to be a very advanced mod, because I've been working on it for about two months but solidly so and it's about I'll give a brief description of the story it's basically about how Volt Tech work like Volt Tech is in the people who make underground bunkers weren't actually who they think like who the people thought they were. So the civilians, everybody in the fucking world, you know. Basically and it's basically about Volt Tech being a big scandal and the fact that they actually built bombs, weapons of mass destruction. They didn't just build underground bunkers. They're the ones. They're the ones who actually built bombs and they used it to gain money. Because if you think about it, vice versa, you know, like how if you build underground bunkers for people and they have to pay to go into it, you get money from it. And then if you build the bombs that drop, you're actually sort of making it almost easier for people to pay for stuff to go into vaults so yeah but I will you know obviously look at that in a bit more detail obviously in the readme and all that shit and it's a very good mod I reckon I'm very proud of it but I haven't done it yet so yeah also if you want to place a bed I'm going to place a bed in my barracks go on furniture on world objects type in bed and then you get a bed and I'm going to have a shitty bed because I like shitty beds shitty beds are cool Obviously not with shit in, that would be weird, but I'm gonna have a shitty bed here in the corner of the room, shitty bed. Nice little shitty bed. And uh I think I'll leave that as that. And I think what I'll do is, is also have a reloading bench in my house. Um yeah, I like that, that's nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Also, if you want to play some more light, if you want to play some more light, like, go ahead. It's not my mod. If you want to go into the light section, ah, uh, I feel like I'm not explaining things enough, but I bet I am. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go here and just drag this in here and control duplicate, of course. And sometimes I don't know what it is, but it's a glitch with the gek for me. When I uh, press F on something, all the light gets like taken away. So what I have to do is select the whole thing and just go like that. And then, as you can see, I have more light now. But for some reason, it's not that bright. So I'm going to change that to 500. Um, because it's not bright enough. That's better. But as I said, you can do what you want with this mod. It's not my mod, you know. And, uh, yeah. 
but yeah, I had somebody comment on my last Gek video saying, do more Gek videos, and I was like, okay. I'm gonna put some shelves in here. I mean, don't copy me completely, I mean, come on, you must, you must know how to look for things in the object window by now, I mean, it's quite simple, you just need to type in the thing you want in the filter up here, and it should show up here, um, regarding, or based off of which which actual drop down you're on. So I'm on static, so I get static shelves. So so shelves that can't be moved in game. Um so yeah. I'm also gonna have some ammo boxes. And I think I'll call that a video guys. Um this is just basically how to furnish your house really. It's quite simple. And I'm gonna have some more of those on the uh the shelf. I think I'll just control D those all the way up. Turn it around a little bit. But also, if you want to make your own custom fucking containers, go ahead, because if you don't, you'll change every single one of those containers in the game. You don't want to do that, trust me. You don't want to do that. Um, also, again, you need to save your mod. Say frequently, I mean oftenly, sorry, because if you don't, you could be in trouble. So yeah, guys, that was a Gek video. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead. If you have any requests for certain things, like, you know, how to do nav meshing, maybe, you know, that would be, that'd be my next video, possibly. Go ahead and ask. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.